Well, here I am. Look at me playing a card-driven block game with cute stickers and everything. And uh, we've played the three opening turns of the Spartan campaign. Probably not a good campaign to actually begin playing Hellenes or learn how to play Hellenes. Uh, primarily because the, there's a significant victory point penalty for doing any combat in the first couple of years of the game, and that's really not until near the end of the... Um, let me just scoot down here to the rules. The Spartan excuse me, the Spartan campaign is actually on the turn. On the little chart doohickey here, I'll show you. So you can see here, uh, there's a victory point penalties if you uh, break the Nicene peace. So, uh, we, we don't want to do that yet. Uh, both sides are there for pretty much either uh, raising forces or mustering forces and uh, increasing their strength capacity, uh, their combat capacity. So the Athenians are recruiting. And from what I understand, you know, and I've read the rules, uh, I've read the rules, what can I tell you? I've read the summary and all these other bits and pieces, and you really, you have to muster into your your like color locations, which should be your capitals or home home province or whatever they want to call it. And uh, you know the Syracusans and the forces over here are, are recruiting. Uh, we're popping guys in there as they come out of the random pile because you, <clears throat> you pull three blocks and pull one out of those three, you choose one and then place that in the appropriate location. So I wanted to get something into Sparta, which was good, because uh, the game starts with uh, Messenia here uh, being occupied by the Athenians. Well, it's actually not Messenia, it's Pylos, but uh, nevertheless there's a garrison there. And I popped, uh, moved a unit via naval transport uh, to there, and actually, I think you can do that. I'm not sure. I, I, maybe the Greeks have to, the Athenians have to stay in in uh, Athens until this war. But I figured since they own this, they can move there. We'll see. Fairly straightforward rules. You pull cards. You play cards for for points. So each card has a between one and three of these guys, and that tells you how many actions you can execute. And those actions are. Uh, Moving guys by land, moving guys by ship, uh, mustering, uh, recruiting, whatever the case may be. Uh, you can then go and pillage and do all that sort of stuff, but you can't do any of that in the Spartan scenario, which is kind of good because it, it, it kind of streamlined this. And the idea here really was for us to gener generate some land battles uh, so that we can play them on, in great battles of history. So really what we have right now is an arms race. In our first year, we have two cards left. The last card will be the wintering card, and then the high summer, I think it's called, is the last turn. Is that right? For the fall. We just did the high summer, now we're doing the fall. And uh, I guess I'm just double checking things to make sure I'm doing it right, because it all seems kind of boring at the moment. Uh, we'll wait until we actually get into combat and see what happens. Uh, this group here, you can represent uh, a whole bunch of units by, uh, you know, put them on a little stack like this and cover them up with a counter so the opponent can't see. We transported all the chappies from uh, up there, down into where eventually there will be a war. Uh, so I think there may only be one or two big battles, and I'm going to try and avoid doing siege combat since that won't work so well for the uh, for the great battles of history stuff. Now, if it makes uh, no sense in terms of gameplay, then we will obviously do a siege if that's what we need to do. But we're you know there's a reason why we're playing this game, and that's to generate battles for great battles of history and trying to create some something fun and different. And so far, there's no fun; it's just different. We'll, we'll get to the fun soon, I hope. Bye. For now. Hellenes. Hellenists. Hellenic stuff. Greeks. No Romans. Bye.